Greetings everyone, here's Lodrick again, and this is Game 1 The Pacific and what's edition? This is my play by Ema Match against Azorop. He's the Allied Commander and for me it is the Empire of Japan. This is 25th February 42, the day after the um, real first carrier clash, I would say. There was carrier battles before, but it was the first uh, heavy clash with mixed result for both sides, I would say. But my submarines are still unable to sink uh, a piece. And no ship sinking directly in the night after this action packed last turn. Sweeping the mines in Batavia. And finally, I get a hit on an AP. Good, but an empty one. This are still this uh, empty torpedo boats are messing with my routing. The next X AP is slipping through my submarine positions. In China, some casualties, but not overwhelming, successful. So, no carrier strike here. Looks like there's someone behind me. Some strikes against the Dutch. Java and Borneo. But no airstrike. So Maybe Azurop had to choose and choose to return to his base and not uh, try to um, finish off my carriers. I finish off this AP and the next AP is again passing through. Some landing force trying to take over this uh, resource center in the north uh, source of Borneo. And my division is catching up with the uh, Australian American forces here and there's normally nothing to stop me. So I take the base and force them out. Or I force them to surrender. And this was maybe all this broken equipment, uh, the aircraft air force from Darwin was damaged. You can only rail to this position, there's no rail directly to this base, so you have to stop here and yeah, other rope was not able to repair them in time. Good. A little payback. Cushing. It's still holding. Cebu and bombardment. More bombardment at Suba. And nothing else. 
So both players choose to not follow up. I had not really any chance to uh, hunt down the allied carriers. And it looks like, for me, if I understand it correctly, that he maybe sent the heavy surface fleets to catch me, but was not able to reach my fleet. So if air losses are 23 to 2, this is heavily related to, uh, these are now ops losses on the ground, that is I think, uh, for me it was really only a recon and that and uh, anti-submarine flyer, uh, uh, bomber. And this is all ops losses. The Catalina maybe not, I'm not so sure, but I think this three first are all ops losses on the ground. There's some air losses. I don't know exactly. Maybe, yeah, uh, again, you don't know how this really works. This damage aircraft uh, on the ground. Maybe there was a maintenance or there was damage and then I destroyed them on the ground. I don't know exactly, but I only know that there are 23 aircraft left for Azorop, and I lost one pilot. I also was able to sink at least one AP. Mm, yeah. There was no action in China, so again, with stacking limits, LAP thing is a little more slow. Burma, I still don't reach out to this location. But I am nearly done with Sumatra, there's only two Dutch forces on Sumatra and one dot base to take. And I closing in to open here the link between Sorbaya and Batavia and also finish off the Dutch in the west. My division already arrived, no, my HQ and uh, tanks arrived, but not the division. So I have to finish this uh, pocket, then I can take out the mountain. At the same time, I try to open here the rail between Sorbaya and Batavia, then the supply flow will work better. And in the east, I push the what is left here, not much, also east to the coast and finish them. Picking up some bases here. Achieving your next victory over the American allies here in North Australia. But I think I'm now a little out of supplies. Uh, I have some supplies, but I don't know. I will see if I can continue this uh, move source immediately. Most important is of course here, the carrier division. So first I was not able to bring in any submarine on the carrier. I also see that three ships are trying to hunt me. Reported light cruisers, who knows what it is. I was able to disengage uh, and I have here now my more or less ready carriers, free carrier and two support carriers plus cover force and this is a heavily damaged carrier and you can see the fire was not able, sometimes this happens if you have system damage red over 50 then the system damage cannot really get more uh, other equipment under control, the flooding and engine damage. And in this case, the fire damage is not able, I cannot get it under control. i losing uh, the battle with the fire. The fire is not really strong, it was weaker before, but it's because the system damage is shut off. Maybe the allies' the system damage is always working and that is why they can handle damage much better. But for the Japanese, if you have system damage over 50, more or less you cannot fight more flooding and fire. You have a very short time to reach a port and then get port support to get fire and flooding under control and then yeah, the system damage. So I guess that this carrier is lost very likely. If the fire will not, I mean the fire gets stronger, the system damage will go up and yeah, something will, and I'm still too far away. Uh, if there would be no fire more, I had hope, but with active fire still, no. So the only issue, or the biggest issue is that the, both of the air wings, the B and C wing, or it was a BB wing, uh, these are both the um, main wings. I have only sub wings, the, B, the 1B1 is on Nadi, was able to escape. So I saved the uh, pilots, 
and airframes, but I was not able to save the air wing. So the air wing will go down with the carrier and then I have to uh, buy back this lost air wings. But what I can do is to get the pilots out uh, and so I maybe will only lose here some and I have here, so I also have here no aircraft on board. It's really only the wing commander is trapped here. So I have here some pilots. I think I can send them back to the reserve. But not always this will work. You can even send them back to the reserve, but somehow I think the game tracks them on the carrier. And so if you lose the carrier in one or two days later, I don't know, there's some function between or behind. Anyway, I try to save as many pilots as possible. I think the biggest threat is also uh, overcome. Uh, for me, it's important to save Shukaku. It's a fleet, full size fleet carrier. You get your early radar. This is also the bigger light carrier. The other light carriers have over the capacity of 30, 31. So it's a little bigger carrier. Escort carriers are not really so important, but they have a very special function. You can put an escort carrier in every amphibious assault group or tanker group or whatever you want transport. So this you cannot do with a normal carrier. They simply don't match in. So escort carriers are normally important for Japan. You don't have so many of them. Uh, this is one of the better, oh, this is a new type of light carrier. <coughs> They're not uh, the size, they have only size of 31, but they have a faster, cruise, uh, more cruise speed. And uh, they also have much more torpedo, I think, capacity, like the old style carriers. Let me check. Oh, no, this one is, uh, yeah, this is a special light carrier, because this is a light carrier try to be a fleet carrier I think but no it's a special one so anyway to lose a light carrier is I think still acceptable with this outnumbered air battle from yesterday and I was able to not sink but cripple two allied fleet carriers and I guess that uh, you have to go back to uh, Pearl, uh, Pearl Harbor this maybe takes already weeks, and then to fix the damage needs months with your flooding damage. At least I hope that the Lexington and Enterprise is out of action at least for three months, maybe even four months. That will let me handle the Pacific War up to July without really a big threat of carrier or interaction. Good. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.